example. Now, why would you need a mobile cage in the first place? Now, one reason is more stability and control when shooting handheld with your iPhone. Even with great image stabilization on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, a secure and stable grip enhances your ability to capture smooth footage and allows for creative camera movements as well. The cage also protects your iPhone from drops or damage while filming on the go. It also provides multiple mounting points for accessories to expand your setup. So let's now check out the features of this cage. Firstly, the build quality is premium. Also, it's incredibly lightweight, ideal for mobile shooters on the move who prefer to keep their gear as light as possible. It also has a beautiful green and black color combination along with Brandon Lee's signature. Now, as you can see, the cage includes two grips, for setting up dual hand mode, enabling for smooth handheld camera movements. The innovative feature of this cage is the quick release system. It allows you to detach the handle based on your shooting needs. So you can use it as a side handle to change from horizontal mode to shooting vertically, or you could even use it as a top handle to get those low shots, or you could even use it as a vlogging setup to film yourself. Now, being able to attach and detach the grip quickly makes this rig even more compact, fitting it easy in any camera bag and even in your pocket if you remove these two handles. Additionally, the grip comes with a wireless remote controller that connects to your iPhone via Bluetooth. The remote control has a range of up to 10 meters, and this really allows for easier and faster recording control without necessarily having to touch the screen on your iPhone. Now, the best part is that you can slide this part off and it reveals a cold shoe mount for additional mounting options. Now the cage has a side door that opens by pressing this button up here and the iPhone 15 Pro Max fits perfectly and slides in smoothly as well. The inside comes with a built-in silicone pads to avoid possible shocks and scratches. Now once I close the door, it locks automatically. The iPhone buttons and ports are easily accessible. Now the back is exposed, allowing you to attach a MagSafe wireless charger whenever your battery is low, ensuring uninterrupted shooting. And by the way, I will leave links to all products mentioned in the video description below. Now the cage has 10 one quarter threaded holes and two cold shoe mounts to expand and create your customized setup, such as adding an SSD holder to record my videos externally. Still, you could also add a light or microphone or mount it on a tripod or gimbal. The possibilities with this one are really endless. Now the cage comes with an M mount back plate. However, other back plates can be purchased separately for lenses with a 17 millimeter or 37 millimeter threaded lens and T-series. The kit also includes this 52 millimeter VND filter with five stops. This way you can choose the widest aperture lens on your iPhone, which is the standard lens and achieve a slower shutter speed to get that cinematic look and natural motion blur in your video. It comes with a filter ring adapter for easy mounting, allowing you to attach the VND magnetically, which is really cool. Plus it also stays securely even if I try to shake it off as you can see. So let's now put this rig to the test in the field and show you how you can get creative shots with it. So let's first start with the camera settings. So I'll be using the Blackmagic camera app, which comes for free and gives you full control over your camera. I'm gonna be shooting in 25 frames per second, I'm shooting everything with this rig handheld. So I won't use any slow motion to smoothen out any camera shakes, but I will use some post-production stabilization and as for the shutter angle, I will set it to 1 over 80. This equates to a shutter speed of 1 over 50 and gives me that natural motion blur. Next up, the ISO I keep as low as possible and the white balance I keep locked. As for the autofocus, I leave it in auto and I'm also using an ND filter over here. This way I can adjust the exposure according. So if I remove the VND, you can see that everything is overexposed. So by using a VND, I can keep the shutter angle at 1 80. Now I'll be shooting everything in Apple ProRes 422 LT and I'll be recording everything on the external SSD which I can set over here. I'm going to choose files and you'll see one terabyte Samsung is selected. And because I will be recording in Apple Log color space, it gives me a flat picture profile and I use display LUT with Apple Log to Rec. 709 selected to convert the log footage into a Rec. 709 look. This way my shot won't look 
so flat and I can better see what I'm filming. So when I head over up here and select the LUT option and turn it off, you'll see the image is flat and I can now display the LUT and everything looks much better. Now, as for the stabilization, I leave it at standard. This way it will help smoothen the shots a bit. If you have really shaky hands, you might wanna go for cinematic or extreme. Now, one thing I also do is in the settings, when I head over to audio, I set it to stereo. This way I can also record the ambient sound, which I could use later in the edit. All right, so I have my buddy Arturo with me. He's gonna help me out in this shoot. Uh, he's gonna film the behind the scenes. So big thanks to him. He's also actually a, a creator. He does short content on Instagram as well as TikTok. And he's actually transforming to long content. Uh, you can follow him on his OnlyFans account. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for this next shot, I'm gonna have Arturo help me out. He's gonna film me from the side and pass by the trees. This way we have some foreground and create also some handheld movement. And it's gonna be very challenging because the floor is uneven and there are a lot of sticks lying around. So especially easier having a rig than holding the phone naked. Really cold, so if you see my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's him, man. <laughs> So for this next shot, I created an orbit shot around this tree. The best way to get steady your shots is by having the rig close to your body, sort of creating a three point contact, and then especially walking heel to toe, which will make the shakes less obvious. With the rule of thirds, I try to keep the tree centered and I always make sure to adjust the VND filter so it's not under or overexposed. So the next shot I created is a low shot. And the way I did it is I placed this handle on top and repositioned the SSD on this cold shoe mount. And this way I can get lower to the ground to create a sort of crane shot. And also importantly, I just moved with my body instead of with my feet, which worked really great. So the next shot I created is a selfie shot using one handle to the side, basically stretched this arm and faced the rear camera towards me. And it's a fairly easy shot to create that you can include in your videos. And also be sure that the exposure is correct because the light was also changing. I can simply place my hand to where the sun is shining and then adjust the VND accordingly. I also created this parallax shot from a lower angle, which I think looked really nice. So the next one is a static shot. I'm gonna use a tripod for that. I framed it in a way so that I have a little bit of foreground over here. And the great part is that this rig comes with a Bluetooth shutter that I can use to start and stop recording from a distance without having to touch the screen. I think they made a really awesome camera rig for mobile creators shooting with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's perfect for those who want to keep things simple while still capturing professional quality footage. The design is well thought out, versatile, and great for different shooting scenarios. Now, if you're someone who frequently upgrades their iPhone or likes using it with a case, Small Rig also offers universal cages that work with a wide range of mobile phones, allowing you to keep your case on. Their latest edition is the universal quick release mobile mobile phone cage, which is MagSafe compatible and comes with a phone clamp. It also features an integrated quick release system, just like this one for easy setup. I might even do another video on it, so stay tuned for that. 